It is not faith in technology. It is faith in people. I am Ras Bangkaya. I'm Dame Jera Barrera. I am Kaliga Giselle Barrientos. I am Kyle B. Kanyata. And I am Asia Kayan Chua. We are nursing students from the University of St. Thomas and we are here today to present to you our research study entitled Level of Awareness Among Nursing Students Towards Telemedicine During COVID-19 Pandemic. The coronavirus disease pandemic has changed the patient's access to healthcare. Early in the pandemic, the number of hospital consultations dropped by nearly 60% because patients did not want to leave their homes and risk being exposed to the virus. Telemedicine was then utilized, but there are still nursing students who are not aware and knowledgeable of the existence of telemedicine. Furthermore, no study has explored this awareness locally, so this motivated the researchers to determine the level of awareness among nursing students towards telemedicine. The design for this study was quantitative descriptive research design. It uses descriptive research which describes a situation or a given state of affairs in terms of specified aspects or factors. This allowed the researchers to describe the characteristics of the nursing students towards awareness of telemedicine. Study participants were nursing students officially enrolled in University of St. Lasalle, Bacolod City during the first semester of the academic year 2021 to 2022. There were 69 first year, 84 second year, 79 third year, and 52 fourth year with a total of 284 nursing students participating in the study. The research made survey questionnaire was utilized as the research instrument. Part 1 included the demographic profile and part 2 included the factors that influence the levels of awareness of nursing students towards telemedicine. The researchers used a four-point Likert scale to interpret the participants' answers. To verify the validity of the study, the researchers used the Good and Skates validation tool with a result of 4.7. And to check for the reliability of the study, the researchers used the Crambox Alpha test with a result of 0.9. Table 2 displays the findings which provide an overall picture of the demographic profile of the participants. In terms of sex, there were a large number of female nursing students which consists of 222 and 62 were male nursing students. As to the year level, 84 second year nursing students responded to the survey which comprised the majority of the participants. Furthermore, 235 of the participants currently live in an urban community with the remaining 49 of the participants living in the rural community. In terms of devices used, majority of the nursing students use laptops or desktop computers, with a result of 235 participants. It was also discovered that the majority of the participants have limited internet connectivity, which consists of 162 participants. Table 3 data indicated that all of the participants of any sex, year level, and type of community resulted with a mean scores between 3.59 to 3.79 and all variables interpreted as being fully aware in terms of technological knowledge, existence of telemedicine, perceived benefits of telemedicine, and the level of awareness of telemedicine. Table 4 presented the results on whether there is a significant difference in the level of awareness of nursing students when grouped according to their sex. Using the man with new test, the result accepted the hypothesis of the study, which there were no significant differences in the level of awareness of nursing students in telemedicine by sex in any aspects of awareness. These results indicated that male and female students had statistically the same level of awareness of telemedicine. Table 5 indicated that there were no significant differences in the level of awareness of nursing students on telemedicine by type of community in any of the aspects of awareness. Thus, this accepted the study's hypothesis, which means that nursing students in both urban and rural communities had statistically equal levels of telemedicine awareness. According to a study, this could be because telemedicine has traditionally been used in both urban and rural communities. Table 6 presented that using the Criscal Wallace H test, there was a significant difference in the level of awareness of nursing students grouped by year in terms of the existence of telemedicine, perceived benefits of telemedicine, and overall level of awareness of telemedicine. Although no such difference exists in terms of technological knowledge, results show that as nursing students progress further in the curriculum, more knowledge is learned and telemedicine is one of the subjects that is being discussed in the curriculum all year level. All year level students possess technological knowledge and awareness about telemedicine and entail a vital role in their careers in the future. For the generalization, the results of the study came to the conclusion that all nursing students are highly aware of telemedicine when it comes to technological knowledge, existence of telemedicine, and perceived benefits of telemedicine. In terms of sex, 
male and female students had statistically the same level of awareness on telemedicine. In terms of type of community, nursing students in both urban and rural communities also had statistically equal levels of telemedicine awareness. However, in terms of year level, fourth year nursing students had higher overall levels of awareness of telemedicine compared to all other year levels. Second year and third year nursing students had the highest level of awareness regarding the existence of telemedicine, while first and second year students had the highest level of awareness about the perceived benefits of telemedicine. Our study's contribution to the nursing profession is that it can make nurses more aware of telemedicine and its benefits, such as being the safest interaction between patients and nurses. As nursing students are aware of the telemedicine, these students will then educate the students in non-clinical courses about the benefits and risk of accessing telemedicine services. For the recommendations, the researchers would like to recommend the DOH officials to use this data as a foundation for gaining insights and knowledge about nursing students' current position on technology. The hospital administrators to look into the consensus of the population that is accessing individuals who would like to avail of the service for their convenience. The nursing educators to encourage nursing students to consider careers in telemedicine. The community to use virtual consultations in adapting to the new normal. The patients to utilize telemedicine services to have more options for consultation. And lastly, the future researchers to help future telemedicine researchers learn from previous mistakes.